Alright, hello YouTube. Welcome back once again. Some more from the depths. Uh, we are continuing on with the Ashes of the Empire campaign. Uh, at the moment, we're kind of waiting for reinforcements to arrive. The two Angies have been doing a good job fighting off, um, or thinning out the reinforcements around this uh, White Flares uh, base. We've got a few forces nearby, but they're kind of damaged, so we're waiting both for the, for the Naga to appear to be able to affect repairs on the damaged Angie hover tanks here, and potentially rebuild the captured um, Leopold. Uh, and also for our new Hilda-class tank to arrive, because that's the one that's going to be hopefully able to destroy the Beholder uh, at this uh, gathering base. We're going to try... I'm not too worried about the Deep Water Guard for now, or the Dustman Gypsies, I suppose. Uh, we're going to wait for them to... No, Dustman Gangs. I... Yeah, I keep forgetting they've changed the name. Um, we haven't really seen anything from them yet, so I'm just going to let these three forces just apply a little bit of pressure on them and just push it and focus on the white flares because they're much more dangerous as far as I can tell. Yes. Might actually have you guys yes. on my way. right a little bit and take that, see what you can find. Yeah, the recovery vehicle up here is capturing that territory. Uh, for those who want to so explain a little bit because it's been a while since I sort of explained a lot of the campaign stuff. Explain why it matters that we take the territory. Uh, we can only repair either in friendly territory or the square next to friendly territory. And also, uh, no, it didn't actually stop us harvesting in enemy territory, but... Oh, right. Yeah? Yeah, um... Oh, damn it, told me about this. You can turn off resource zones or something so that you gather from one specifically? Yeah. Oh, God, how did you do that? He did say about... Or at least I'd, I'd heard about this. Building this force? Hang on. Or at least I thought I'd heard you could do this. Ah... Uh, no, maybe that was not correct. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that. There's something like you could turn off the zones and have it all replaced from one spot, but I'm not... It sounded a bit weird to me, but I thought that was a thing you could do. Um... 10%. Oh! Is that like a make sure I have at least some on board? Okay. Yeah, anyway, we'll leave that on for that. But, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought that was a thing, but maybe I misunderstood that. Maybe I didn't hear it right. I don't know. Also, we have quite a lot of resources at the moment. We're not too, uh, we're not hurting too badly for those. Right. These two have almost arrived. Let's speed up time a little bit and try to keep time fairly... Oh. Listen, the smite is the tiny little thing. We'll let that, we'll just let that go for now if it tries to blockade us, whatever. Um... I'd like to try and keep the capture if yes. I can. Listening. Moving out. You guys yes. can worm your way up to there and then that thing can start repairing. They're exchanging material. Um Yes. On my way. Listening. Yes. Hilda meanwhile is here, so we'll we'll get them going into uh do yes. repairs. They're captured already. Doing good. Listening. Alright, let's fight that little spike while it's going past. We'll probably lose capture on it, but it's fine. Uh, not triangle. And if I remember correctly, the smite is tiny. Like, it's just a little... Pretty much just a little boy. Little boy? Like, B-O-I. The little boy. Yeah, look at him. He's tiny. It's just a tiny little ramming wedge, basically. Uh, no, fortunately, I believe it has no ranged weapons, so it literally can't hit the enemies. <laughs> oh my god, you just vaporized it! Okay. Wow. Alright. Can't then go flats. Yeah, I noticed that. He's a, he's a YouTuber. Uh, I believe covered the game early on. Listening. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the first time they've appeared. It's going to be a Shrike and a Wanda. Oh, Wanda's fairly big versus a two Vivians and a Momica 2. Let's load the terrain in before we actually start the fight. We don't need a repeat of the clipping into the ground incident. Right, Momica 2. There, Vivians. To the back, please. <coughs> in the fight. Right. What's our priority target? 
Probably. Uh, let's take the strike down first. Targeting. Yeah, that seems to be a good idea. Oh, okay. Well, I guess they've. I guess the missiles have locked the wander. All right. It's fine. It's firing missiles back. That's probably not a bad idea to try and kill that first. We haven't done another forgetting to load them out of ammunition, have we? No, they look like they're all right. I think. Getting bombs dropped, but as long as it keeps moving away, we should be all right. Well, magnetic mines try to stick to the moment. Don't get that close. Run away. <laughs> yeah, keep running. Keep going. Go, go, go. Oh, turret's out. Oh, boy. That was really bad. Okay, so it took a bad hit from those bombs. I reckon the Vivians can down these two, but only if they can actually hit it. Oh. I don't know why the missile swerved away like that. It can't have been their intended target, right? Well, it can't be that they just do field of view locking on because they would have targeted the um, Shrike. It was right in front of them. Yeah, it looks like we lost that Momica. Oh dear, got bombed out. Well, it protected the Vivians, and it is there as a distraction, usually, so... Momica might be small in the show, but Vivian is technically the most small, so... Must protect. Mind you, I said that she also turned into a dragon, so, you know, there's that. Uh, <laughs> don't know how much protection you need at that point, but... So they're not really to turn into a dragon, she just was a dragon the whole time, didn't know it. I suppose, but... Oh boy. Oh, hit to the launcher. No damage? Interesting. I see, the Vivian's launcher cover is there more as a formality than anything. It's not actually supposed to be able to take hits, but I guess it can. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I guess these guns are just not tremendously powerful. The missiles might be those, so I'd appreciate it if we could down this thing quick. One's trying to turn around so I can get a shot. Hang on. Yeah. I'm actually on board that one. Let's turn you around. Yeah, go on. Spin turn. Spin turn. Spin turn, like the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Just imagine you're playing Infinitrax. Oh! No, I think we got them. Alright, well, we lost a Mimica, but yeah. they didn't get the capture, so that's alright for now. Uh, sit there and on my way. enjoy the on salvage. My way. For the moment, we'll we'll send someone to repair that in a minute. Listening. Yes, on my way. Stay nearish to them. Oh, uh oh. Lagged for a moment, but it didn't crash. I'm going to save the game because I feel like it could have crashed. Right, but now the Hilda is there, we can probably send yes. that and the twenty the On my way, yeah. The missile carrier force in. On my way. They'll probably be able to do it between the two of them, I reckon. That's capturing going up there, still going. But I might even have these yes. go yeah, move down and support the Chris. On my way. It's on its own, it probably didn't ought to be all on its own. What did the Chris end up being? It was the missile launcher, wasn't it? Listening. Okay, looks like the Angies have got another fight against the Cataphract. That's quite a big machine, if I remember correctly, so hopefully they'll be okay here. At least it's a little bit bigger than the other stuff. Don't let them bring reinforcements up. They're already about to launch an operation over there. They don't need extra help. Yeah, Cataphract's a bit bigger. Uh, how much are you? You're, are you one of the ones that exceeds the volume limit? It does not. It's 50,000. Oh, okay, no, it's not enormous. Uh, this is, okay, I don't think this is at all was what I thought it was, actually. It's got a machine gun turret that's fairly consistent, but not really noting any damage, really, at all. Um, it is knocking the odd block off, but <coughs> I think the uh, Angie's armor is tough enough to withstand that, at least for the minute. Certainly the particle cannons are doing more damage in exchange, anyway. Auto repair has been an armor, has been my main defense on these uh, on my vehicles, and it seems to be working for the most part. Ooh, bit of damage there. Is that actually a collision between the two, maybe? Did they actually get stuck on each other for a little bit there? One is not firing this particle cannon. Oh no, it is. We're okay. Don't land on the other one, please. They're so in sync now that they're just flying on top of each other. Oh, the 
the prettiest looking tanks, but I've got to admit, they're working alright. They actually been doing good work for us this campaign. It might just be because the particle cannons aren't really blockable. That's probably a part of it. He's down. Uh, oh, I guess the hover tanks will come up. I guess everyone's joining in this one. Right. Yeah, we'll start that fight. Why not? Get everyone yeah. involved. What are these? Vivian's mostly? Yes. Yeah, Chris can join in too. Yes. Yes. Got two Chris's. Yes. Right, yeah, this is the missile force. Sorry, these yes. aren't the uh, these aren't these aren't the ashes, these are the, the launchers. Let's get the Listening. Andes actually as far back as possible as well. Listening. Let them come to us a bit on this one. Oh right, we're actually on the hill, are we? Okay. So over the white flares, we have the high ground, literally. Actually, we are missile launchers, so... Oh, they're actually on the hill! We're actually having to take the hill! Oh, don't tell me the hill does immediately spawn in the ground and broken something. Oh, come on! Game! Game! Oh, come on! Right. That's super annoying. Oh, God, is the hill there okay? Yes. Resources, how are we doing? Have you guys got enough resources? Oh, great! The game has immediately smashed my dreams. Okay, the good news is its self repair is kind of crazy. The bad news is it's also taking the brunt of the fire. Oh my god! I hate this game's terrain system. You guys really, the devs really need to have a look at this. And get this fixed. They'd even said they'd fix stuff spawning in the ground, but at least it's uh, weird. Jeez, anyway. I forgot how loud that is. Right, the Chris's will have to take this out then. As large missiles should be capable, it's whether they can live long enough to do it. It is damaged already and it is on a hill. It looks like the hill, though, that we built specifically for this is not going to be participating much in this fight. Yeah, I think those missiles combined with the damage had already taken were enough. Okay, the hill that has taken off at least. That's not it though. Yes. Oh right, I need to actually select the mothership. Uh Yes. Okay, well at least it's trying, but yeah, it lost its weapon system, so it just got immediately smashed before the fight even started, yes. so. Great. Wonderful start. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I think we'll be okay here. I think we're gonna destroy these without too much difficulty. Focus on the actual weapon systems, please. Don't worry about the uh, the base that's not doing anything. There comes the cruise missiles from the Chris. Here there is taking damage, at least, for the others, which is good. It is supposed to be tough, but... Yeah, it looks like when the Chris's have got enough stuff taking fire for them, they can do quite a bit, good bit of damage. In fact, I don't think we've really seen the Chris's in fights that much yet. Did we have them in one fight and they ran straight into the water? I think. build its gun pods, so... It's missile launchers, rather, so we're just all stuck. I'm guessing it'll be able to rebuild them once it's out of the fight, but... Ah, uh, it's annoying. We didn't even get to see them in action. We didn't even get to field test our, mother, our new, you know, flagship properly, because... the game bugged down on it. One of these days, I will master from the depths subterranean technology and will just go under the ground and just ignore it entirely. I have not yet worked out how to do this. Nor have I looked particularly hard yet, but still. The ultimate shield will be the floor. Tear it down. Alright, let's destroy this resource gathering spike obelisk thing. Bloodstone obelisk. Take the resourcing point for ourselves. Hill doesn't seem to have done anything else stupid since it got damaged. It has repaired everything that's still alive. It just smashed the weapon pods immediately. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Chris is still suffering guidance problems because it's trying to fire up over a hill. 
the downside is missiles do require being able to see what they're firing at to fight. Yes. Right. Go back to the Naga and start On repairs. Way, I'll have, yes. the, let's have the Naga filled up a bit more as well. Listening. You can fish rebuild the Leopold. Listening. Angie's Moving and up. the yes. missile carriers can go to On here. My way. Enjoy the salvage and take the was it Shrine of Saint Alma. Death of Saint Alma is a widely. Did I read the law? Celebrated event at the Church of the Flay God, commemorating the sacrifice of the saint. They ended a decades long schism within the church. Oh, what they don't know is their last words beg the High Flare for her life, saying she could still be useful to the church. Agree and sacrifice them. Oh. Yep. Listening. Yeah, no, I don't have much sympathy for the yes. White Flares, and this is why. On my way. Because they keep pulling this stuff. Yes. Listening. Right, the second half of tank force is operational Moving again, out. so we'll send them in. Excellent to hear, but. Indeed, they are running again. Yes. Chris and the third force can way. take on yes. this lot. On my way. Uh, capturing is going well. Okay. I'm going to time walk for a little bit. The next event, which will be repairing the Hilda's launcher pods, or I'm trying to remember to want it above the ground in future. Yes. You are a airborne at your service. Ow. So loud, it stacks the sound effects on top of each other. It's like, you only need to play it once. I know there's like five of you, but you don't need to play it every time for every craft. We get it. Yeah. Right. Listening. Start repairs, please. Yeah, they're very rebuilding the missile pods. Okay, at least it actually saves them properly here. And in, in the designer, it wasn't saving them properly when it was destroyed, so I was a little worried. We have to rebuild it each time it was destroyed, but oh! We found an opponent. We found a desert boa. That's yeah. unfortunate. We've been using you as testing dummies. <clears throat> right. Yes. Yeah. Chris. Yes. Yeah. Vivians. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Chris, yeah. come on. Face the right way. But also, going to load the terrain in because we don't need more vehicles spawning in the floor. Oh, there's two of them. Oh shoot. What's the? Oh, there's three. Oh god. Oh, we've stumbled upon a base. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that. Um, oh, look at this thing. Oh, it's got a gun. Okay. Uh, so this is armed. Sand Viper. Oh, that's the Sand Viper now. Okay. That's changed a bit. I like it, but it's definitely changed a bit. We've got a Sand Raider. Looks like machine guns. Oh, my God. A lot of machine guns. Okay. May have a bit more of a fight here than I realised. Uh, that's what a Twirig. Yep. A bit of a gun turret, but it's a bit random. And a defensive turret of some sort. I don't know what our biggest priority target is, so we're going to let them judge it themselves on this one. Chris launching. Might also be stuck, I'm not sure, or just decide it's in firing range, it's going to stay still. They probably really should have some more mobile backup, but they will still do a lot of damage. Oh, I think Tuareg just found that out. I think it just lost its gun turret immediately. I think the Vivians might be targeting on speed and the Chris is targeting on size, but I'm not 100% sure on that. There's damage being taken. We actually might lose this one because, well, basically we haven't come in enough numbers. Also, the Chris is staying still for some reason. Don't do that. <clears throat> I'm going to manually override and take control of the driving. Oh, I think Tuareg just suffered a massive hit. To the point where the Chris has stopped locking onto it, it might be out. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, cool. We've got an AI dead. Something killed it. I didn't even see what, but something killed it, and I will take that. Yeah, that gun turret's about to go next. Let the Chris take over its own driving. There is damage being taken, but we're still alright for the moment. Oh, come on. Get the hit. Get the gun barrel. I think it knocked out one of them. Ah. Uh, the curse of its bad accuracy when it can't see the target. <clears throat> Let's get it a bit close. Let's get it on top of the hill so it can see. Chris might be worth switching to radar guided missiles. They're more vulnerable to jamming, but I think in this case it actually doesn't matter. Nothing here has enough jamming or perhaps enough flares to really distract them. 
a hit. We're good. One hit. Two hits. Just two. Okay. Done a decent bit of damage, but we haven't actually knocked out the gun turret. Oh, here comes another one. Seeing repairs happening as well. I think it just... <laughs> I don't think we hit it for that one. I think it just blew its own gun barrel off there. At least that's what we're going to go with canonically. It suffered so much damage, it just blew itself up. Something's going wrong with the... That's why the Chris is set on the wrong... Oh my god, one of the Vivians isn't even firing. Oh my god... I had to mess with the AI for a few bits and like specific moments and I keep forgetting to double check them all. Yeah, that'll be the Vivian 2 launching. I can see missile flares. Oh! Whoa, Chris took a big hit. What happened? It's been an explosion from a hit or something. Yes. Targeting. Ask and you shall receive, apparently. Oh, it's the boa. Another wave. I like how the very first design I came up with for this campaign, which is the Vivian, is still doing reasonably well somehow. Despite everything like we've done, all our improvements on our other vehicles, this cheap little missile carrier is still doing pretty good. Like, they're not amazing, but they can still put the heart on things if they get long enough to do it. And somehow they seem to manage it over and over again. That's probably what did the damage. That's got that big front cannon. I get that one. Let's knock that gun out. Bright pink tracers, apparently. Oh no, they targeted something else. With a hit like that, you're okay. Ah, they targeted the machine gunner. Oh, and the magazines went up. Yeah, that one's gone. <laughs> we can ignore that now. Yeah, the Chris is taking a lot of damage, although it's still alive. Ah, sustained by repairs. Got any working launchers? Let's fire them, but doesn't look like it. You guys are still targeting the wrong thing. Yeah. I have a feeling missiles don't listen to targeting properly. I have a feeling they they have some of their own logic. I, I could be wrong, but I have a suspicion from what we've seen in across the campaign. Turret's knocked out. Right, kill that gun. <laughs> Reckon that's what did most of the damage to the Chris. Machine gun it. Yeah, it didn't even take much. Chris is alive. I'm gonna merge these two together into one force. They might as well be at this point. Yes. On my way. Yes. Merge into a fleet. This will be the second yes. missile carrier fleet. Missile carrier fleet. Exit. Ah, this person has a medical weapon that's been knocked out. On my way. Push forwards yeah. for now. We'll actually send the, yeah. the main force to on catch up with you. I've got to keep these two together for the minute. We'll also get a Naga over there to... Yes. Give it some resources again so that it can finish repairs. Get the Hilda's missiles online again and we'll get it back into the fight. I, need, I think a repair aircraft of some sort would be a good idea. They can very quickly get out yeah. there. Don't get any closer, way. don't get any closer. That San Reno on its own could be a problem. Let let help get to you first. If that will let help take that next fight, I think. In moment, cause, even if they're only moment, because they should yeah. easily be able to handle that. Right. No, no. Lift the Hilda. Let's get the Hilda in there. We don't know where their base is still. Moving out. Lifting. Let's move the radar balloon in. Moving out. They are capable of movement. Yes. Meanwhile, the Naga, I'm actually going to send out to here to get a new radar balloon constructed. Listening. Ah, never mind. Moving out. We found it. We found our headquarters. I reckon we can destroy that. The music seems to agree as well. Let's give it a try. Where's the Hilda? Listening. I'm going to send the Hilda Listening in. Out. Bring the others as well. Right, yeah, no, they'll have a boss craft. Yeah, it'd absolutely be worth bringing the other health. Help. We're going to try and do that this episode if we can. 
What have we got? Execution of turrets. Inquisition. Yeah, I believe that's an actual combat vehicle. So yeah, we probably will want the help. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Oh, they bought reinforcements as well. Very dramatic music as a duel happens out in the desert. Nothing too terrifying looking here, but I'm going to target that thing with a cram cannon first. Yeah. Is... On my way. Oh, not a duster. Targeting. Resuming control. Yeah, check the AI of everybody. I think everyone's back to normal at this point, but and I missed one in that previous fight, so. Oh, and immediately something's exploded. <laughs> yeah, that. It's a cool little Carl Garrett looking mortar, but I think we might have basically rendered it ineffective already. And the moment because of now shelling it for to add insult to injury. And also some additional injuries, because they're they're reasonably powerful little things. So that, oh, that was a Nomica 2 that was now very dead. Might have already been damaged when it came into the fight, but... So we've got one over here that's chasing the... Uh, oh, we've got a turretless Nomica chasing the desert bow. Yeah, they're not indestructible by any means, but... They can take the odd hit, and they're usually hard to completely knock out at any rate. Usually by the time that's a problem, the Vivians have... Yeah, missiled the problem out of existence anyway. I'll see an updated uh, Vivian 2 might not be a bad idea at some point. Just a, a launcher tank with a, maybe a turreted launcher. Maybe even more powerful missiles or just more of them. Just a duster, I think. Which I can see is taking damage. That probably is the moment because actually shooting at it. Yeah. They're getting hits. They are rapid firing. They can hit small targets like that. Not that it matters, because, yeah, an entire salvo for about eight Vivians just hit it and it disappeared. Cool. Yes. We'll add that resource gathering way. point. Yes. On my way. And there's something else coming up anyway. Info. It's a rattler. Okay. Yeah, we'll need to take some territory around there anyway. We'll want to have territory right next to it so we can repair during the fight. So repair does seem to be our one of our main survival methods. I've seen plenty of our machines get back up from what should be fatal blows. It's, yeah. Because again, it's what the uh, it's what the old Skyrim used to do. Right. Let's teleport to one of the Momicas that could definitely be brought fully online and a little bit of extra repair. Where are they? It's just a rattler, right? Theory, this will probably get knocked out by it's a fire. Oh, this is the Land Raider. No. no. It's a little bit Land Raider. It's got sponsors, but they are they armed? Yeah, I guess it's a Land Raider. Or a, a Lehman Russ uh, Demolisher? Not Demolisher. What's the one with the Thunderer Siege Tank, I think? Yeah, a little bit like a Thunderer with the, the single cannon on the front. Doesn't mean much. Uh, also, I don't know what that little missile it launched was that went like two feet. So it was one of ours coming back round at it. Yep. Alright. <laughs> We're going to be able to take that resource point. As the Naga comes over to pop a, uh, a balloon on it. <clears throat> I reckon we can maybe knock out the... Oh, it might be next episode though. So I reckon we can knock out the white flares. But that's all the time we have for today. Hopefully you guys have all enjoyed. I'll say it again, because it's it's not happened yet in your time. This would be on the 9th, I suppose. Um, so, Quinta, the second of the games I've made, is going to be up on Steam's Midwin Week Madness sale for the 13th. Uh, they're doing a big RPG Maker sale where a load of different developers that make RPG Maker engine games uh, do stuff up on. So if you want to support the channel, go check that out. It'll be like two quid. It's a good game. You'll like it. Trust me. Hopefully you guys have all enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.